gosh. Delete, delete, delete. Oh man, sometimes I just get so frustrated with this bird photography. If only I had the words to describe that feeling of, uh, I mean, what is it? Dissatisfaction? Yeah, okay, Josh, I get it. Another bird sitting on a stick. Great. Did you really need 60 images of a bird sitting on a stick? Delete. Out of focus. Boring. That's dumb. Background's too busy. Boring. You know what the problem is, is we're inundated with images. Advertising, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And let's be honest, today, even the best image is, well, I mean, it's just forgettable. We've seen it all. Oh, and advice. Oh my gosh, so much advice. Always some new guy or girl with the greatest wildlife images ever. And, you know, they want to give us some pointers on how we can be better. Well, step one, go to Africa. Yeah, exactly. Can't even afford step one. Still more advice, how to improve your images, take better shots now, how to edit your images. I don't know, for what? To get lost in a sea of more images? I get it. I want to stand out. We all want to take beautiful images. But why? I mean, why are there so many videos and articles and books referencing how your bird and wildlife photography can be better. You know, I recently read that more than 45 million people watch birds, you know, in and around their homes, away from their home, and it contributes to an $80 billion wildlife economy. 45 million people. <laughs> 45 million people. Really? I mean, that's a lot of people spending a lot of money on watching and photographing birds. Think about it, the binoculars, the bird houses, the bird seed, cameras, goodness, oh my gosh, the cameras. <sighs> Man, that's a lot of people and a lot of gear. But what about me and you? You know, what about us? How does that help us? What can make our images better? I need real solutions. We need the real stuff. You know, what does it really take? Well, I mean, you know, gear, of course, right? I mean, that certainly makes your images better. That's a given. Gear matters. Just, you know, get more megapixels and a faster frame rate and better autofocus and better ISO performance. And, well, you got to have a full frame. I mean, unless you want a crop sensor and you get more reach. But, you know, you get the point. Gear, it's the answer to everything. You know, but I mean, seriously, though, I have seen some pretty good images with cheap gear. And honestly, I've seen some really bad images with great gear. Hearing all the little birds chattering, trying to figure out what they are. So maybe it's not 100% the gear. Maybe it's the settings. Manual mode, that's the key. All the best photographers use manual mode. And for birds, gotta have a fast shutter speed. Absolutely. I mean, unless it's too dark, then you don't want a fast shutter speed. And metering, you gotta get your metering right. You want a spot meter on the bird. I mean, unless he's far away, and then you want to, you know, area meter, and that's probably best. And, you know, and back to ISO, or is it ISO, or ISO, ISO, I don't know. Let me Google it, see if there's a video for that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set my auto ISO. But does that mean I'm no longer in manual mode? Ugh. None of that matters anyway if you can't find the birds. Gotta head out to the wildlife refuge or the park or something. Or, or hey, just put some bird food in your backyard and let the birds come to you. 
Hey, no judgment. Low-hanging fruit, still fruit. Oh, but pay attention to the light. Pay attention to the light. Backlight, front light, side light. No such thing as bad light, just different light. And you have to watch your backgrounds and your foregrounds too. And when it comes to birds, get lower. I mean, unless they're high, then you want to get higher. Eye level, just figure out a way to get eye level. And be sure to compose the shot. Use rule of thirds because we all know how much we love rules and but more importantly be creative but rule of thirds and negative space you know you got to focus on your portraits and then there's birds in flight but either way just be creative and always use rule of thirds <sighs> man and look if you don't get it right in camera just crop it i mean not that much not that much just a little bit So that leads us back to editing. More images. Delete. Delete. Hmm. Okay. I like this one. What do we have here? Looky here. Hmm. That's a good one. This one's going on Instagram. This one's gonna stand out for sure. <laughs> oh God, that's a good one. Oh. Uh. That might be the prettiest picture you've ever taken. So what am I gonna do tomorrow? 